The ship is designed with the core crew of 70 personnel. We have four tunnels underneath the ship that draw water up and shoot them out the back of the ship. So it's very much like a jet ski and it's extremely maneuverable. We're able to support ourselves for 10 days underway uh, before needing to restock our food stores uh, as well as our fuel stores. We can carry around 100,000 gallons of fuel. This will be the fourth Navy vessel to bear the name USS Indianapolis. The second one is best known. It was sunk by a Japanese submarine in 1945 while returning from a Pacific island where it delivered key components for the atomic bomb. Only 317 of its nearly 1,200 crewmen survived the sinking in days in shark-infested waters. Seaman Second Class Dick Phelan was on board the ship. You go through something like that, you, you never forget. Four days or five nights, 104 hours roughly, without food and water. I was saturated with diesel fuel. And they do not like smell of diesel fuel. So they sniff them in and swam away. So it saved my life with diesel fuel. Yeah. <laughs> The cruiser Indianapolis was very decorated. It won 10 battle stars during World War II. I hope that we can you know, live up to that and be able to perform that well within the fleet. The commissioning ceremony takes place this Saturday morning here at Burns Harbor. 11,000 people are expected to be in attendance. There are no more tickets available. From Burns Harbor, Will Jones, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.